Hola, welcome to Barcelona. It's the opening day of the inaugural Pooch Women's America's Cup. The lineup of sailing talent is extraordinary. 12 teams, 12 countries, 58 world championship wins, 17 Olympic medalists, plus four sailors who've circumnavigated the world. This competition oozes class with a capital C. The fleet has been split into two groups of six. They'll sail eight fleet races each. The top three point scorers progress to the semi-finals. After four more fleet races, the top two will then compete in a match race final for this, the Pooch Women's America's Cup. This is set to be an epic series. So let's head to the start box where the Group A America's Cup teams are ready to race. There's some late starters here by the look of this start. The Kiwis and the British look like they're going to be on time. They got stuck in, in bad air, dirty air on that right hand side. History is made. Welcome to race one in the very first Pooch Women's America's Cup. Just getting settled here. Yeah. Five, five, Put on numbers. Okay. Great Britain had the best start there, just 13 metres back, 28 knots. Nicely executed by yes, Hannah Mills. Happy to go 15 to boundary. Okay, tacking in three. Bombs two, on board. One, board down. Team New Zealand. And turning. Head knots. Board in two. Hi, mate. One. And angle. Yeah. Remember from these series of races, half will go through to meet half from the other groups. It's so important to be consistent, to be in the top three. Also, the pointing, the scoring system really rewards a podium place. The Italian team of Luna Rossa there. Over speed, 28 knots versus 23. They'll be able to sail up into a position of clear air. They've done so well to come back. Had a really average start. They'll learn from that, but great pace here, moving up through the field. They are absolutely ripping the Italian team. Very, very, very good boat speed there compared to the Kiwis, the British to windward. This will be the completion of leg one of four. And as we head into that top gate, leading the fleet will be Athena Pathway. Great Britain take that final tack. They will be followed through by Luna Rossa Prada Pirelli. Oh, Luna Rossa off the foils. Slow maneuver, having to stay slow to get round the mark. We're seeing at the top of the track, it is only between six, seven, eight knots, occasionally really, really patchy. But Athena pathway extending into more pressure, 10 knots at the bottom of the course. This impressive lead is going to get bigger and bigger. Coming up. All these teams are associated with cup oh, teams. Some have worked more closely than yeah. others, but all of them, as we can see, are pretty well practiced and drilled. What they haven't had a lot of time to practice is racecraft in AC40s on these tiny, tiny courses. But as you said, Stephen, we will see that progress. Oh. It will be, uh, we've used this term before, but it will be a vertical progression, and you'll see it quite simply in the results. What's interesting is how hard it is on starboard as we look at an Athena pathway just tack. Because of the seaway, you're punching straight into the, the waves coming out on starboard, and it's just uh, on that starboard tack that you're liable to touch down. A little bit more pressure at the top of the course this time. Athena pathway, Great Britain will lead the fleet into the final downwind leg, and that will be the homebound run. Oh, just a little bit of a tiny wobble, then they get their AC40 back up and falling. Beautiful. That, this is a this is an outstanding performance in these conditions. Yeah, it's a great shot from the front there. You can see how tricky those waves are. You've got to get the timing. 
So right, so accurate. On a big touchdown by the US team. Oh, they've had a big wobble out on that right-hand side of the course upwind, and that will be a huge loss. The American Magic team. That's a, a massive, massive shutdown for the US team. Unfortunate. Just having another look at this maneuver. Don't have it. Just running out of horsepower from the wind in that case. So not much you can do when you're sailing to a hole. You just can't keep the boat up to speed. Impressive first day performance from Hannah Mills. Double gold, silver medalist. Saskia Clark behind her. They've been here in Barcelona since early summer, and you can tell, well-practiced, confident crew. It's been a statement performance by Athena Pathway, Great Britain, in Group A of the opening day of the Pooch Women's America's Cup. They have done a magnificent job, and they will bank 10 points. And top the fleet with three races to go today. And finishing a little bit of a class style. Yeah, super tough. Uh, just, I think everyone's just buzzing to get going. Um, feels like we've been waiting to start for a while. And yeah, nothing like some waves and fairly light breeze to test the nerves. So the British claim an historical first and win the very first Pooch Women's America's Cup race. But one race doesn't make a regatta. Let's head back to the start box for race two. America's Magic and the Kiwis jiving back into the dirty air as well. So the British might get the whole shot here. Race two, Group A. Pooch women's. Restart penalty France and restart penalty Switzerland. America's Cup, and guess what? They may have been off their foils, but they're first out of the gate. Athena Pathway, Great Britain, big save. Athena Pathway kept their eye on the prize and nailed it. They were 26 metres back, but who cares? They are leading the fleet in race two. Step change coming. Yeah, touching the pressure in five. 15 knots. Swiss team digging their way back in, and also the French team after being off the foils there at the start, also re-accelerating and now actually up into third position, which is great news for them. Down, left it too late to get back into that pressure. I think the British team, can they dig the boat back out? The Swiss team. Swiss team are actually the giveaway boat here, so they will need to go up around the back of the British, which they do. But they're almost on lay line. Almost on lay line, the Swiss team, so. Okay. Big gains there for Alinghi Red Bull Racing. Sailing down that boundary in pressure and just making a last ditch run for that gate. So that would be smart to possibly even jibe while they still can here in pressure and get back into that breeze on the left hand side looking up wind. Another indicator of how clean and efficient you must be in the AC40 to avoid losing a place and valuable points. Oh! Hang on a moment, spoke too soon. A Lingy Red Bull Racing off the foils. There goes Athena, pathway Great Britain. Oh, they're struggling to get around the mark. Watch out who's coming in. Orient Express at L'Oreal Racing. Could be a full restart here, Stephen, of this race with sailing into this lighter pressure, breeze blowing down from up the top. Whoever can stay on their foils here will potentially win the race as the Italians coming to the bottom. 
five knots of wind pressure down here. Impossible to get going. Wait for it, wait for it. How are the Italians handling it? Oh, it's a foiling graveyard at the bottom end of the course here. When Rossa Prada Prally, for me, are launched. We're definitely seeing two different winds fighting against each other in this tiny racetrack. It's going to be a massive gear shift. 15 knots of breeze at the top of the course. Oh, and a massive vent there. Got too high on the foils. Lunarossa, the British now will just sail straight past them. Enough breeze, though, for Lunarossa Prada probably to immediately refoil, but they've lost about six or eight boat lengths in that manoeuvre. Just sailing into some really light air down the bottom here. You see American Magic still parked. So the weather conditions play havoc in race number two, but we get a winner, and it's a different winner this time. It's going to be a slow finish to Luna Rosa Prada Pirelli, but they get across the line. Massive wind shift, I think, Shirley. Yeah, it's coming off the shore, and that's why they really struggle to get across the line there. Wait for it. If they'll just sail straight into no breeze here and they just coast past with their boat speed. Absolute transition zone here. <laughs> and they are just going to just hopefully get past. That's how close it is. Holding, waiting. Yes, Alingi Red Bull Racing take position two in race number two. It is crazy weather here, almost 180 degrees different to what we have at the other end of the course. This breeze coming off the land. Been a pathway, inching their way across the line there. Light, shifty winds are testing the fleet. Who will find the breeze and foil their way to the top of the leaderboard? Don't go away, there's two more races to come after the break. Welcome back. History is being made off the coast of Barcelona, where the world's best sailors are competing in the inaugural Fuch Women's America's Cup. The breeze is back. So let's head to the start box, where Group A is primed to take flight for the third race of the day. Five boats all locked together. This is going to be the tightest start yet. This is the umpire's penalty USA relative to France. So it's rush hour at the start, ahead of race number three in the Pooch America, Women's America's Cup, and we are racing. Good start by Athena Pathway, Hannah Mills. They've practiced that a few times. Shift average, 15 knots. Press of extension on the fleet. Take a touch more, can. Breeze coming on in two. Which team New Zealand? Windward end of the line, getting off the line relatively cleanly. Luna Rossa Prada Prally, a few seconds late to that start. And not getting their time on distance from that far side like they'd like to. They're still in the race. A big battle now for clear air on this next tack. American Magic got a penalty for a windward lured situation in that pre-start. They must drop back. Rossa, Prada Pirelli digging their way back through the fleet after a poor start. So they'll be wanting to charge their way through. Big dip there by the Swiss around the back of the Italians. And the Italians sort of out of phase with the rest of the fleet. So punching through some dirty air compared to the rest of the fleet. They'll just need to sail a clean race to get back into this. Top three, really close race. Italians, good shift on that right-hand side. Back in the game. Yeah, out of phase and now challenging for the lead. So they are the give way boat compared to Emirates Team New Zealand. They'll duck in behind there, but 
snaking their way back through the fleet from being last off the line to be now in third position and absolutely charging. Athena Pathway, Great Britain. Away they go, lead the fleet. They know what to do here. Close at the section between Emirates Team New Zealand and Luna Rosa Prada Pirelli. The fleet, the fleet is tight at this point. This is the umpire's penalty New Zealand relative Italy. And penalty clear. I've got some loose moments on board. Athena Pathway in this jive is not over yet. Got to get it locked in there. That was a very, very close moment to a big, big foil ventilation as they went into that jibe. So nice job to just hang on to it. And Emil Sarsia Clark handing over to Tash Bryant. Boundary penalty GBR. Athena Pathway miles over the boundary. Oh, and a big touchdown, Athena Pathway. Oh, they've really, really got the plow attached to the front of that boat. Penalty clear. Huge gains to the Italian team as the Kiwis and the French come charging in from that other gate, right-hand turn at the top. So, fierce battle. Simo jibes on board these two boats, so nothing in it. Oh, and the Kiwis have got a bit on here. Well saved, come heads. Luna Rossa Prada Pirelli, they complete again. Rush hour at the bottom. Oh, massive move by Emirates Team New Zealand inside. Really late call. Really tight racing. tricky out there, quite a lot of wind, big, big waves, but still the patches. Some of the most challenging conditions I've seen here in Barcelona. Steering in Emirates Team New Zealand was Liv Mackay, the voice you can hear, Joe Alla. This is the umpire's New Zealand boundary penalty. Oh. An unforced error there for the Kiwis. I'll be disappointed with that. 75 metre penalty. Oh, and they've got plenty going on here. Luna Rosa Prada Pirelli will steam home in this third race of the Pooch Women's America's Cup and take another big chunk out of the rest of the fleet as far as points are concerned. The Italians win and bank 10 big points. Consistency is the key to winning this regatta. Every point counts. So who wants the most? Let's head to the start box for today's fourth and final race of the day. Lina Rossa, Prada Pirelli staying high, wanting that right hand end of the line. The Red Bull Racing, really late potentially for the start. Very, very late approach. Americans possibly late as well. Athena Pathway have the left hand end all to themselves. They're still pressing for target. Race four, Group A. Pooch Women's America's Cup. How much, sir? How much, sir? Five left. Americans actually getting a slingshot through the windward end of the line there, so just managed to get around the back of the Kiwis and having to thread the eye of the needle. Best start was the Italians, only nine metres back, and at pace. Tight battle, this. Closest we've seen them all. Really interesting as they come off this boundary, the boat into that boundary, having right of way to be able to tack over, but only have rights while they stay in that boundary. So the other team's having to tack and let them out of that boundary. 
simultaneous attacks between the British and the Kiwis. Piring over to the right hand side of the course. Venus halfway, Great Britain. They already have one win. It was the opening race of the day, and they did a sterling job on that. Can they repeat it in the last race of the opening day of the Pooch Women's America's Cup? We've been waiting a long time to see them ripping at high speeds and in close quarters, and that is exactly what you are getting. Bruno Rossa, Prada Pirelli, American Magic. See how fast the Italians can send it downwind. The British team doing everything they can to hold them off. We've seen these flags battling it out, almost even performance for the last week and a half on the AC 75s. Absolutely nothing in between those two boats, nothing in between these two boats either. The Italian team now having right of way, surely, over the British. So, decision now on the British of how to handle this. They'll probably duck up behind the Italian team. No, I was wrong. They decided to jibe. Boats coming up to the uh, right-hand boundary, and this could be a uh, crucial manoeuvre for both boats in terms of race four. Simo Tech, Bina Pathways from Great Britain, look to have a little upwind edge, and they really now have got in quite a strong position. For Luna Rossa Prada Pirelli in that lured position, they'll be trying to reduce the gauge on the windward boat to try and stop... Great Britain rolling over the top. Great race. Luna Rossa Prada Pirelli just managed to move forward. Been a pathway tacking away. It's coming up to the next cross, and we're uh, on the left hand side. It does look to me as though. Luna Russell Prada Pirelli are just ahead and they'll be able to get round the bow of Great Britain. And that's a crucial cross as we come into the top mark for the last time. Luna Rossa Prada Pirelli nailing it on them. They know the British are dangerous. Telling is extending on this downwind, Shirley sailing the boat beautifully. They will hit the line here in race four, and that will be three race wins in a row for Luna Rossa Prada Pirelli on the opening day of the Pooch Women's America's Cup. You can bet they're happy about that. Followed in by Athena Pathway, Great Britain. These two teams signaling they could be the teams to beat. Big cross coming up here. Very, very close. The French pushing hard, just to jibe in front to try and take this valuable set of points. Oh, they're loose here. The French, they've just got it under control. Can they hold on? The French, Art Express, L'Oreal Racing, they need some points. And they will get it. Valuable points for Art Express, L'Oreal Racing. Third position, followed home by Emirates Team New Zealand. It, it was the first time we'd heard you really celebrate as you crossed that finish line. How good did that feel? Yeah, no, no, surely it's... Uh, uh, it's uh, uh, now we can uh, celebrate because the, the day went pretty well. Um, so, yeah, like before we were just trying to remain focused um, for the next one. But now, yeah, we have uh, a couple of days to, <laughs> to reset and be ready for... Uh, next day of racing but it's so exciting it's so exciting to race in these boats really the best sailing uh, ever best racing ever so day one comes to an end looking at the results three wins in a row have taken the italians to the top of the leaderboard followed closely by the british and then the kiwis tomorrow australia canada sweden 
Germany, the Netherlands and Spain take control of the AC40s. Who will write their name in the history books and clinch the inaugural Pooch Women's America's Cup? Who knows? But all will be revealed over the coming days. There's plenty of racing to come and we will bring you all the highlights.